Mike Gary Combs. You spearhead the local recruiting here. Uh, you're a local legend in yeah. high school football, <laughs> current legend in college football. Uh -huh, that's nice of you to say. Coach and all that type yeah. of thing at UC. Uh, you got some good local kids here. Tell me about, uh, I guess, start with, with uh, Coyne. Patrick Coyne is, is going to be a great player for us. He was our first commit in this class. He's an excited and eager kid. You know, he, 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 uh, he got injured in the second game of the year this year, but a tribute to his toughness and kind of character he has, he, he, he super loaded his rehab so he could get back on the field with his team before the end of the season, even came back and played an alternate position to help his team get in the playoffs. He's just a great kid, a great story, uh, strongest arm of any kid that I have ever seen at any level, any time. And I think he's going to be a real promising player for us. Patrick Cohen of Baden. Uh Coleman from LaSalle. Rod Coleman is an explosive athlete, tall, long, uh, catches the ball above his head, very tough to defend, great speed, uh, comes from a, another uh, outstanding program and a very, very successful team, a GCL championship team, a playoff qualifying team. He knows how to win. I really like the way Rod communicates. Uh, Rod's going to come in and compete for opportunity to play early. Brandon Mitchell at Withrow, you get one from Doc Hampton. One of my favorite. Uh, kids to recruit just because of his humble nature. Um, you know, I go to watch him practice wrestling, and before he ever gets on the mat, he does an hour of study table, then he moves all the tables out of the cafeteria, then he puts the mats down on the floor, and he spends two hours just getting ready to practice wrestling. Then he practices for four hours. He doesn't complain, he doesn't have any uh, star complex. Uh, he just shows up and does his work every day. He's the same kid day after day after day. His mom's done a tremendous job raising him. He is going to be the guy that everybody talks about a couple years from now in this class. He's going to be a dominant force in the middle of our defense. I'm really excited about Brandon Mitchell. A lot of football players wrestle. Uh, do you find that that helps them, especially with a defensive lineman, the moves they have to make? You know, I, don't, I think it helps them tremendously in a lot of areas, but I find the area it helps most in is that you are all alone on that mat. And you've got, to, you've got to stand tall and you've got to have tremendous courage to be a wrestler at any weight class. But when you're a kid like Brandon at the 285, working to get to that weight limit every week, the discipline involved, and then go out on that mat all by yourself and compete, I think Brandon, uh, I, I, I think he's just going to be a phenomenal player for us. Justin Murray out of uh, Sycamore, pretty large dude. Unbelievable upside. Still looks skinny at 250 pounds. He's going to put on a lot of weight when he gets here. His athleticism is incredible, but the thing I like most about Justin is the way he finishes every play. He is trying to put the guy on his back. He will go downfield and block and block. He goes to the echo of the whistle, and uh, Justin's competitive nature is going to be... Uh, and, 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 and watch for Justin in the spring. He's going to win a state championship in shot and disc. He's, he's a great, great athlete. I don't have the list of preferred walk-ons in front of me, so I'm hoping That's you okay. know most of them. I, I know all of them. Matt Staubach from McNicholas High School played quarterback on a, the best team McNick's had in a long, long time. Very tall, very active, uh, you know, can run extremely well. He is going to be a real, real pleasant surprise to the people in Cincinnati at tight end. He's the only tight end we recruited in this class because we believe he's going to be uh, a real dominant player. Also from McNicholas, Eric Ernst, who is a GCL punter of the year. He's all Southwest Ohio. Got an innate ability to kill the ball inside the five yard line comes from a tremendous family background and uh, we're real excited and as you know Kevin Huber is a former punter from McNick right. and he recommended Eric at the highest level which meant a lot to me and to our program also from McNick Rob Rice who's a, a fullback for them and a safety and a high effort guy and when I asked Steve Cloney about him he said well he's just our best player kind of an undersized kid an overachiever and we're looking forward to what he will do here on our campus. Uh, Michael Colosimo is going to be a great player from Beachwood, uh, can really sling it. Uh, I know that his best days are ahead of him. I'm really looking forward to his development in the weight room and what the additional weight and strength will mean to him and to his arm uh, strength and, and, and very excited about that. Kevin Highland is a run and hit guy from Elder High School. You cannot have too many run and hit guys and frankly you can't have too many Elder guys. They win, they know, they know what it's like to play where football is critically important and uh, he will show up and he will do a phenomenal job uh, every day for us. Uh, and, and there still may be uh, more kids from the greater Cincinnati area that we add uh, in, in that group of kids, but uh, those are kids that make us better because of their ability uh, to play, uh, you know, and their commitment and sacrifice to the university. We're real excited about them.
with your background in high school football, is it still fun to go into these local schools and, and talk with these guys? It's one of the most fun things I do. Uh, you know, I look forward to going and watching guys work out after school. I enjoy talking to the coaches. They're my friends. Uh, they're my peers. You know, uh, I coach at the University of Cincinnati, but I'll die a high school football coach, and, and, and I love – uh, I love everything about high school football, and, and, and one of my missions, frankly, is to make sure that the rest of the country knows that the best high school football is played in Cincinnati, Ohio, and we're going to continue to work to prove that to, uh, to everybody with these kids and the kids in the future, and really, really excited about that. There you go, Kerry Combs, local ambassador to football. Thanks, Scott.